So what's the feel like out today? The what? The feel like. I don't know, minus 400, something like that. I thought you were good to minus 40. Oh, I am when I'm in the RV, but when I'm not. All right, well, some Imes times, like glued like pieces of plywood, little squares of plywood onto the roof, and then put chibi furs across there, and they were like just absolutely dust. So I just cleaned up a little spot around there, and then I'm gonna take uh, stainless steel, stainless steel washers and some different type of poop. Oh, holy, that's just about the end of me. I just got that jack handle right up the Ersk. But uh, I just made like a little square hole, a little square hole so that the one washer will sit flush. And what they did, they went through the top and just bolted down their bulls dick so that there was this like threaded nut situation sticking through the ceiling in there. But what I'm gonna do, invert the situation so that's all we see coming out of the ceiling and then I can mount this on there and then once I get around to making my roof rack with the solar panels and whatnot, you know, I'm not 100% if that's what I'll do or not. I mean, it'd be, it'd be neat or whatever, I guess, but you know, we'll see. We'll get it, we'll get it somewhat uh, into a movable state before we get, you know, too worried about any type of the fan danglery. But, uh, yeah, if I get those uh, holes pooped, and then I can use that uh, window, window uh, weld shit, whatever it is. I put it around here somewhere, window poop. I think that's it, window poop. Fast cure urethane windshield adhesive. Yeah, so we'll just fill these up with that. We'll just fill, fill the voids. This is that uh, hopefully they will withstand the weight of the Coleman's diesel engine, the brand new one that we're gonna have. And uh, yeah, then we'll you know use a bit because I I'm not really sure. I'm imagining that that'll dry out pretty quick. Seeing as uh, how they got the friggin' end friggin' cigarette and everything, right? So it's like a, a use what you got, and it's probably like a one tube for per windshield type situation, right? So you use her and chuck her out. But how you making out, buddy? You got that spring out yet? Holy shit, eh? Man. You're fast. Did you uh, did you cut the frame yet? Should I start the loader? <laughs> yeah, the... <laughs> start the loader, okay? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh dear. What have you done? Oh, that used to be my that used to be my good uh, Hang. hanger there. So that's awesome. <laughs> but hopefully, uh, sooner or later, we'll uh, get those out. I guess. That's looking all lockety splockins. If I had a light, I'd show you. Just look onto that, boys. Holy suffering. Holy suffering. Even, even dislocated the freaking steering boxes like a paint the frame in behind that. Well, I mean, we had to... I didn't have to take it off because it's like a collapsible arse coal, but I painted... Uh, painted half of the U joint, started taking that apart, but I want to make sure that I can at least get the, the new ones because the new ones that I got are too big, they don't fit. So I took a measure, we ordered right ones, which hopefully be here Monday. We can get the steering back together and uh, different things. But yeah, I guess uh, let's crack this open and then we'll poop those, uh, poop those uh, engine mounts and then we'll get those bolts cinched up onto the roof there. What happened? Okay, here's the theory. If the heater core sucked, and it wasn't maybe pumping out enough or whatever, you know what I mean? Or if you went maybe to the, the tree fitty just didn't have enough donkeys. Yeah, and then maybe plug that up and try to get it to heat more than it should. Plug maybe. it off, ooh, that sounds interesting. Right, and then try to heat the hell out of it, and maybe that was their answer because there's so much room in here and it gets so cold in here from lack of insulation and so many windows that maybe that's the ah, that doesn't want to come out of there at all that looks like it just should snap off ah, that's some rigid uh, conduit yeah, I was just going to say what's it made out of
pulled the friggin' uh, the intake hose off there, and they had a piece of the duct, the duct tape. Okay. They had a piece of the duct tape over the opening. So, uh, the hobo's got some theories, I guess. He does. Yeah, I don't know how attached this is on there anymore. Uh. Oh. Ooh, tried to pee on me. Tried to get me. Tried freaking getting me. So yeah, I figure uh, we'll just take everything out, this bracket and some stuff, and we'll like, clean up the firewall and everything, and give it a little painty pool. I'll pull this friggin' uh, this son of a bitch out of here. You know, we can get all in behind it and clean up some shit and different things. So gotta pull this. Also, I got to. Uh, I think I was saying stuff about it earlier, but I don't know if I was making a movie about it or not. I might have just been talking to the hobo about it. But I got to get a clutch pedal for this. I know they made uh, these with Emmanuel Tremachon, but uh, yeah. You know what I mean? So. If anybody has any of the information, you know, I'm trying to just cobble something together, right? But it'd be a lot easier to just like purchase the component that bolts right onto the asshole and then we don't have to guess and frig around and, you know, the less frigging around, the quicker we can drive this son of a bitch. Okay? But, uh, but I got a box of uh, scrubber pads there so we can scrub down uh, the firewall there and get it all painted up, lockety schplockens, and it'll be way more awesome. I figure got at least at least a couple weeks before the engine's back from the from the machine shop. I really don't know. I mean, it could be a month. It could be two days. I don't know. I don't know what their uh, schedule is. We got to figure out uh, Monday a couple things, and then uh, we'll probably have a better idea. But in the meantime, I'll get uh, shit sandblasted and painted and this and that, and get a little ahead of myself on a couple things. We'll uh, get this. Uh, firewall cleaned up and prepared for the paint and then uh, get that part of the way anyway and then we can start figuring out I figure the clutch will come out there probably remove this bracket and mount like a fuse box there and then we can come out with all the wirings goes into the fuse and out of the fuse and then into different type of the different things should be awesome. Shoot yourself, or what was that? Again? Holy! I would have never guessed you hit your head on anything. I'm shocked, actually. What? What happened? What's funny, buddy? What happened? What do you mean? <laughs> oh no, your spectacles. Hopefully they don't get stepped on leaving them there like that because you yeah. just find yourself banged out. You wrecked my good ones, eh? <laughs> you probably find yourself banged out. Holy I'm blind, man. Wait, what happened? Holy shit, I'm blind. Wait, wait, I'm getting the shot. Yeah, I guess you are. Holy crap. <laughs> you thousand luminous in the eyes. That's always just what you want. Yeah, man. How you making out? Oh, the spring looks really good. Yeah, it's good. That's great. Did you get into the frame? Should I start the loader? Oh, absolutely. Oh, Should okay. I start the loader? Look at all that. Told me I could, I can, hey now, I can start the, uh, I can crush his van with the loader if he cuts the frame. So I was like, best cut the frame. 
Hey, go ahead, cut her, get her done. It'd be awesome for my movie, but. Anyways, oh yeah, this brake thing. Just gotta undo that, that bolt right there, and then those bolts right there, and then that all spiel will just pull right out of there, and then we'll have a dingleberry pedal. And got a bungee cord on the steering wheel in hopes to not uh, turn it too many times because we got everything all in the disconnected fact. This is gonna be a brand new van. It's gonna be a brand new, what's funny? This is funny. It's gonna be a brand new van that's funny. These bushings look like some old woman's badge. Oh. Dear. So, oh, so crusty and stuff. Vag? Yeah, Why would you yeah. say something so disgusting? <laughs> eh? Who talks about vag? Eh? Good lord, this guy. Just a foul mouth. Oh, yeah. Eh? Oh, Lord. Just a foul mouth. Where'd you learn such foul language? Probably the fing carny. Didn't you? when you're working the carnival. What happened? Just a guy to come here for Tyson Green, right? Like a newbie type guy, just for a couple days. Just... Check that out, speedometer cable delete, bud. Oh, yeah, because your GPS in it. That thing looks like it might have had a few fucking miles on her. Like, I know it's, you know, it's aged and it's got what? 60,000 or something, maybe? So there's my fucking throttle cable. I don't know if I'll be using that one or not. Oh yeah, you can feel the heat, dude. Come over here and feel it. Oh, yeah. Dangle your sack in front of it, dude. Oh, yeah, nice big sack. Right yeah. Right. <laughs> Imagine that was heat. Oh yeah. That'd be nice. What's happening? Hey, we'll clean that up a little bit. And yeah. That looks pretty handy, that. I guess we don't need that, probably. No, I guess we don't. I guess that's just, that's probably just aftermarket. I don't know, aftermarket. Somebody stuck something on there, maybe? A little painty poo. But this part here, it all broke all the rot shit. The distributor valve. Hey, you ever, you ever had one of those? It's like, you just give her one of those, you know? Oh, now it's gone. Great. Great! Way to go, hobo. Way to go, hobo. There it is, look at that. Oh, is wow. the resistor? Oh, that's the resistor. It's the demasculator valve. I was going to ask if there was a resistor in that. I thought that's pretty strange. There's no... There's no resistance. Yeah, there's no... So you can't go high and low. Yeah, we've got two settings on that bitch. <laughs> right now you got one. Just... Yeah, well, really, that's all you need. On, off. I need heat. Turn it on. I mean, we only have defrost, right? But I mean, the back's got a heater too, right? That heater right there. Oh, cool. Yeah, there's like so... a little heater under the back there, so... you know. Turn that on full torque. There you go. That's the one I was talking about. That's oh, is that RV. the one? Yeah, they have them in the RVs. Oh, I apologize. I wasn't aware. And <gasps> what the hoses are for? 
This is going to be hilarious. It's got a Drive Clean Ontario stickers on it. We're just going to like black smoke relentless. Like, like as much black smoke as it'll even do. Yeah. <laughs> like there, there won't be any more black smoke left. No. Uh, That's oh. crazy. Yeah, and make sure, uh, like, make sure you do it in front of like a smart car or like yeah. something really green. Yeah. Electric car. Yeah, a Tesla. There you go. No. Perfect. Yeah, man. Yeah, oh, man, I keep half undoing this and then not because I, I go over here to get a branche and then I'm like, oh, yeah, the heater box. And then I go, oh, yeah, the thing with your room. I have a brain damage. It's hard sometimes. My stuff, don't worry about it. Yeah, there we go. Uh. Uh. It's a pretty good heater core. Good lord. Copper even. Ooh. But she's a little of the corroded factor. I still work fine, but we'll see if we can't get a new one. Clean the box up and everything. Get a new friggin' mafculator. Ooh, I wonder if there should be a plug in there. I wonder. Huh. <laughs> but uh yeah, clean her up, give her a give her a spagoo to the paintings. Peyton's just been taking stuff apart big time figure if we're gonna clean up the firewall we might as well clean up the firewall you know what I mean Pretty well the only thing left is the emergency brake cable and the hood latch and they're both already painted anyway so what's the diff eh? the engine mounts sort of into possession got them sem semi into possession there so that's freaking way more awesome like just check this out boys just look on it yeah, so I'm thinking that I am going to have to modify this corner here a little bit for the pump, even for the VE pump, but uh, I'm going to fill in most of these holes. I mean, I don't need any of them. We don't have to run a speedometer cable anymore, so that was coming out there, so I figure I could uh, you, we'll run my wiring harness out there. The clutch is going to come right there. We'll run a wiring harness out here, put a friggin' fuse box right there. Lickety schplockins, you know what I mean? Oh, well, I'll need two because I want to have one for separate of the powers key on and powers key, you know what I mean? Just constant power and then one with just power with key on and then, you know, it's easy to just run the accessories or whatever, but uh, tore this guy apart there, ripped all this wiring out like, you know, there was a security system in there, so it's like I still got a couple little things above the doors and stuff to pull off, but got rid of all that wiring and stuff, and uh, you know, a bunch of screws that were on the walls in the back, like just a pile of them. The hobo's probably gonna wanna put those in a box and let them rust, and then uh, it'll be awesome. But I got rid of pretty well everything, so I haven't figured out what these wires go to yet. That's pretty well the only thing. These are for the back, the back lights and stuff. Obviously, that's the steering column. There's one, one wire there was for the uh, for window squirter and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, and then the other, the other wires are all different things, right? So pretty well. And then I'm gonna put, I'm gonna run that. I got some gauges. I'm gonna run, uh, I think five or six gauges and then the uh the speedometer and the tachometer obviously and uh yeah oh yeah i got volts right there i don't need volts i ordered a volts gauge so we're on four four uh yeah i might just put like four gauges in there the speedometer the tachometer you know a couple doodads we got the the heater control knob the hood pop you know we'll fill in you know make a panel for that so it's like you know it's either over here or maybe put it in the middle and then have a little panel i don't know I haven't decided yet. 
I was thinking maybe cut that whole thing out and make a whole new, so that we can, but whatever. We just got to get it done. Once it's uh, running and driving and this and that, it'll be freaking awesome. But I don't know this wire wheel. Wire wheel's really kind of scratching up the surface of the aluminums. I was trying to avoid that. It'd be nice if I had like a brass, a brass wheel or something like that, and we just kind of take the surface off. But there was a trim piece along there too, with like a rubber, rubber trimbolinis that's supposed to like have a little flappy poo that you know, man, some water goes through there. I mean, it's got this trough and stuff or whatever, but it was riveted on, so I drilled those out. It just had this like aluminum strip aluminum strip over there so I don't know I'll see if I can't find another you know just like a nine zero of the rubbers we can pinch it pinch it back in there drill out the rest of those rivets and put new rivets in but I don't I don't even really think it needs it because it's got this drip drip edge and either way it's gonna drip out the edge so maybe we'll just uh, leave her like that I don't know uh, I don't know you know what I mean? but uh, yeah, thinking I gotta pull this box out here too to uh, figure out the uh, the cable for the flapper door. They're broken, so I'll have to figure out a new one of those. What else? Oh, the throttle cables. So this is kind of handy. The ends of them, I'll just have to sort of wallow out the uh, firewall. You know, it's almost the same size, but the but the ends, the important part where it hooks onto the throttle pedal. That'll totally work. So I'll be able to put uh, the diesel throttle pedal onto the gas throttle. The only problem is, see how long this guy is? Because of the van type body style and how sure so this cable isn't gonna work. We need that end on a cable, you know, not quite that long. I mean, it doesn't, you know, we could go a foot longer than this. If anybody knows where to get a cable with that end on one end and that end on the hither, that would be Spookinsville. But uh, yeah, not sure what else. Not sure what else I could tell you. It's freaking Satterwards, so you know, I was gonna do the window weld thing, but I was figuring I might as well get the primer for it. Gotta wait till Monday for the primer, and then we can do the holes in the roof, you know, those stainless bolts or whatever for the roof rack. I mean, there's holes there anyway. Normally, I, I wouldn't do such a thing myself, but there was already holes there. We got to fill them in, so I got some stainless steels hardwares, and uh, I filed the filed the holes square in the ceiling too. So these bastards here will fit right up in there. Lockety splukins, and then lockety splukin will tighten her down, and she'll be she'll be friggin' golden. And when we finish off the rack, we can just cut her off you know a little bit longer than the nut but uh you know there's like all kinds of screws and wiring and all kinds of bullshit hanging around and not a big fan of how they they ran the the receptacle but i mean i guess it's better than a kick in the head we can change that later if we if we like once we get her going and on the road and now you doing and hammer down something terrible but uh i was also thinking wouldn't it be cool if we put a 10-speed Eaton Fuller in this thing? Hey, hey. The other thing, I was, uh, I mean, you know, they made these trucks with a manual transmission. So I need the clutch. I got the throttle, I got the brake, I don't have the clutch. There's like a, you know, just a spigot coming out the side. A little how you doing, one nut situation, rod, how you doing? I don't, but uh, yeah, I might just try to get a brake pedal and stuff over here. Oh, yeah, it's got this friggin' Marmaduker on it, adjustable Marmaduker, so that one ain't gonna work. I'll try to, I got that old 83, 83 Dodge. Out in the yard, there's an 82, but anyways, same type of difference. We can uh, try to pull the clutch out of that. It might uh, might do the lickety splits. Problem is, minus 17. Out. Oh yeah, I did the the shifter delete, but I thought I cut a bunch of shit off the steering column because we don't need it and stuff, and it was already you know plastic glued 
Vondo schmammed on there anyway, and they had like this thing all hanging off, you know, and stuff. But so I did the shifter delete, but I thought, you know, I'll use that. You know, we'll cobble that on for the shifter. We'll just have a little baby shifter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, sooner or later, it's, I mean, it shouldn't take too long now. I got all the wiring and all the bullshit out of the way. I kept doing a little bit, thought, oh, you know, should I move that or no? And I, I got, you know, pulled everything out. I mean, except for I could, you know, pull these cables out too. Screw a pin, this and that, push that through, whatever, but yeah. Me okay, me okay. We'll just leave those for now. It's, they, you know, like I said, they already got paint on them anyway, so they were in there when the, I don't know if that's original paint or not. I don't know, hard to tell. It's got drips in it, terrible though, like, I mean, it's a friggin' mail truck, so I'm sure they didn't uh, care too terrible bad, but I guess I'll uh, try to find a heater core and we'll the wire wheel out i'm gonna have to sooner or later i'm gonna get the sandblaster going boys I just you know i figure i got her by the door got her by the door we'll just fire the door open push that outside run the pipe stab her in shut the door on the hose and then i don't know put a hunk of plywood or something in front of the opening to try to keep at least some of the winter out and then we'll just go to town but uh yeah that's the plan anyways did i even show you the friggin uh Friggin' U-bolts, dudes. 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 Bros, dudes. Bro. Dude. Right? So that's cool. But, uh, oh, and these things too, they were, like, all this stuff, all this stuff, all this stuff, all come from just those friggin' Two things right there, these things. Look you how know, thick the crow's yawn is in that. Like they sit there like this and just collect schmutt. They just collect schmutt. Look at that. And I beat the shit out of these with a hammer already. I gotta give them a pickle, right? That's what the that's the deal is, but I'm gonna get uh, you know all the parts ready so I'm not, you know, pickling and doing wiring and then doing the, you know what I mean? I'm gonna get everything ready to sandblast and pickle and then this and that, and then everything will be ready to paint. Well, paint her up and it would be awesome so I, was, I figured I was only gonna be friggin like stovepipe deep I got second antler deep into this one boys okay. it's probably better I guess the engine didn't work because then I'd just be trying to get it going and you know cobble a bunch of stuff and not you know I wouldn't do the firewall and this and that because I'd be too interested in getting the engine going and stuff and you know what I mean we'd probably end up having to backtrack a little bit in accordance to my anxieties and my excitement but uh yeah it's cleaning up really good so once uh once we get some paint on this bitch and a couple patches you know there's a little holy poo there a little holy poo there and one right there and other than that she's freaking solid Solders the soup sandwich boys. Check out something like that. You know, that's got a lot of fuses in it. All the wirings. We could just mount that in there and have all the fuses and hearts could desire. Or we got this guy here. Or we got this guy here. Six or an eight. Oh, all oh, relays and relay holders. Those will be handy. 